Hey everybody, um, today I'm gonna talk about uh, um, just kind of like my, my journey with, uh, with OCD and uh, the reason why I believe that OCD um, made my life a thousand times better. Uh, so <clears throat> the first times I guess um, OCD really started showing up was when I was a kid and I, I didn't know until later in life that I, that I obviously had it, but um, when I was a kid I was compulsively locking doors in the bathroom when I was little five, six, seven, eight, nine times over and over and over because of a scary movie that I was watching um, or watched when I was a kid and I was always afraid of someone coming into the bathroom. So I would lock the door over and over and over and over and over and over. And uh, I did a lot of symmetrical things with like colors and uh, eating habits, um, touching things over and over and over. Uh, when I was in junior high, I uh, was constantly worried about people hurting me um, I was bullied a lot, and so I would always run as fast as I could between classes. I, uh, you know, not realizing it, and I was, I was, I was very afraid of hurting someone else, or hurting uh, myself, um, or being pain being inflicted on me. So I just avoided it every chance that I could, uh, and I, you know, and uh, I, I would say those are the degrees that I that I, you know, had an issue when I got. Uh, to the age where I was able to drive, I was always afraid I was going to kill someone with my car. I was, uh, I, I, I can't believe it. I was, I just would always, I was always afraid I was going to kill someone with my car. I couldn't stop thinking about it all the time. I was afraid that, uh, I, you know, when I was learning how to drive stick shift, I was having panic attacks and <clears throat> really, really, really crazy. Right. Um, I, and I just, I didn't understand why it was something I, I really worried about, you know? And, uh, I, I remember I had a, I had an experience where I, I got really uncomfortable about something um, and uh, I ended up having a panic attack and uh, the panic attack was like a seizure uh, when, when I would have it. <clears throat> it, was, it was a panic attack seizure and uh, after it happened I was so consumed with always worrying about something happening to me uh, where I would have a panic attack again because it was so painful the seizure that occurred with it. And so I started focusing on my breathing, trying to do things to help myself, you know, get better. And pro pro progressively, you know, it, it changed. I, I got to a point where I was always worried about dying. I was worried about um, health. I would think about, like, uh, ev my everything I was eating. I was thinking I had health, health OCD really, really bad. Um, I was taking dozens, probably like 10, 15 pills a day, like all these vitamins, <clears throat> crazy exercise regimen. I, uh, I, you know, I honestly, I, I was afraid of women. <laughs> women scared the crap out of me. So I avoid talking to girls. I, 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 uh, you know, I just, just not, a, you know, not a thing. I, uh, you know, when I was younger, I compulsively got into, you know, watching like, pornography and, you know, it, it progressed obviously as I got older and, <clears throat> you know, uh, a lot, a lot of the things that were occurring, I didn't really understand them. You know, I just was always wonder why. Well, I was so anxious all the time, and uh, I got to a point where I wasn't able to do my compulsions anymore to make myself feel better, and I got kind of locked into a spot where uh, my anxiety really had an opportunity to just plow forward. You know, and uh, I had three. <clears throat> excuse me, three hernias all at the same time. Um, one of them's already ruptured in my belly button, but I had a, a her, uh, an umbilical hernia and then a inguinal hernia, I believe is what it's called, and then a hiatal hernia. So my stomach was actually in my chest. And the pain from it made me constantly think about my body sensations all the time and focus on my breathing nonstop. And <clears throat> when I wasn't able to exercise to try to make myself stop having a panic attack, that's that's really when everything started to get very difficult for me, and I got locked in. You know, I was locked for two years straight, focusing on my breathing 24-7. I got to the point where I was, I was so, so bad. Um, I was taking, um, man, I was taking ketamine, maybe, man, um, 10, 10 times a day from a, from a doctor. I, I also was, um, 
at a point where I was um, just, I, I could barely get out of bed in the morning, you know? It's crazy looking back at it and really thinking about it, you know? I, I just, I couldn't, I, I really couldn't stop, you know, like it, it was, it was, it was pretty bad. I, uh, I just couldn't stop thinking about it, you know, I had a constant fear thoughts. Like I, I thought about killing myself every single day. It's all I could think about. I was consuming alcohol nonstop. Um, I was in a relationship with someone and I put myself in a relationship that wasn't a good relationship because I was afraid of being alone, you know, and <clears throat> it was really hard. <clears throat> but you know it it also possessed the uh, you know proper everything to really catapult my life in a very positive way the relationships that I've gained and built through you know uh what happened with OCD really changed my life for the better um I was addicted to you know drugs alcohol uh, pornography I was struggling so much, uh, like <clears throat> not not able to function. Literally, twenty four seven anxiety. Um, just I I wasn't even cooking. Um, I could just I barely function, barely work. My uh, I had a job where I was making <clears throat> um, really good money. I had over a hundred employees at the time, and I I pretty much just lost everything and had to start all over. And, you know, through OCD, um, I guess the, the things that have, have really, you know, changed for me is um, rationality. Once I, I really learned about being rational, it, it changed everything for me. <clears throat> like, I mean, it, it completely changed everything for me. I, uh, it, it, it. It made it so I stopped worrying about the little things. You know, um, I I don't get frustrated at people or myself or the world all the time. I'm not angry anymore. You know, I <clears throat> I'm able to see people's perspectives, and I'm it's it's made me a better leader. Um, it's made me a better uh, brother, um, better son. You know, um, and I'm grateful for it, and I, I wouldn't change it for anything. Uh, I, I used to have so many addictions and things that I did compulsively all the time. I don't do any of them. Um, I never, ever really watch porn. Haven't really much in the past um, year. I've, I've gotten a lot better. I definitely have some, right? But um, it, it's better than doing it, you know, a couple times a day, which is what it was, you know. And now it's to the point where I don't even, it's not on my radar. Um, I, you know, used to drink all the time, I think. I've literally drank once in the past six weeks. Um, <clears throat> I was at a point where I, you know, would always tell myself that I'm never going to have a family. I'm never going to have kids. I'm never going to be in a relationship where I'm going to have that opportunity because my OCD is going to be so bad, yada, yada, yada. Um, now I'm in a different relationship where I'm with someone who um, I'm with for the right reasons, you know. And uh, I'm, I'm going to be a dad, you know. And, uh, and it was all because of OCD, you know, I, I had to have that struggle. <clears throat> it, it had to happen to me in order to create the change that was necessary for me to grow. And I wouldn't change it for anything. OCD made me better. It made my life better. It, it made my family better. It, it directly affected so many people in such a positive way when I learned how to get through this, you know, and <clears throat> the way I <clears throat> really learned, you know, was time, experiences, experiencing it, and education. I read the right books. I was with the right people. I'm very, I'm, I'm very lucky, I'm a very lucky person to have OCD at this time, this year. It is never a better time to have OCD than now. It is completely treatable. And the treatment that you go through, the things that you learn to get to that place, you will put yourself in a situation where you will be able to know and understand things that most people won't dream of because they won't have to. Your, your struggle will be your strength. And it is 
an amazing and empowering thing. And <clears throat> we should be very grateful that we have that opportunity. I know it's hard. Some people might be watching this video and be like, yeah, whatever. Um, but I've been in your shoes. I'm, I'm you. I know, I know what you're going through. And I'll tell you, the journey to recovery is amazing. It is amazing. And it is extremely possible. And the good news is there's plenty of people that have went through it and have been in those spots to be able to get to where you will be able to get there quicker. <laughs> A lot of people struggled to get there. We were with the, the right people, you know. Um, and, and, and if I can give you any advice uh, to you want to get there, is make it a priority. Make it a priority. Read the books that are on the reading list um, and be okay with being uncomfortable. Really, the, the best, best, best things I can tell you, educate yourself, be uncomfortable. S start becoming addicted to it. Run towards things that make you uncomfortable. But anyways, um, thank you guys. I hope you have a great day.